Hi folks! In a previous video we showed you how to paint one of these motherboards. Now, that's all well and good, but now we've got a new CNC machine, we can take things a step further. So how about making a set of thermal armour to cover the actual PCB of the board? Let's see how it's done. Jumping into Fusion 360, we're starting out with an accurate model of the motherboard that we can base all the measurements off. GrabCAD has loads of models available that will work fine for this. Just be sure to double check with your physical board using some calipers. Using the sheet metal modelling environment, I've used 1mm aluminium as the basis for the armour. I've left a 0.5mm gap between the armour and any components. I've also been careful to consider what cutting tools I have available. Moving into CAM, I've toolpathed it all up in preparation for cutting. Since I'm still working out the kinks with thin aluminium, I've played it really safe. I know for a fact that you can push it much faster without worry. I've double checked it using the simulation environment. It's a great idea to do this because you can catch anything that you or maybe the program may have missed. Time to export, load up to the machine and make some chips. So the cutting's all done now, it's pretty much come out usable straight from the machine thankfully. I briefly went over it with a deburring tool to remove any sharp edges though. To add the brushed finish I'm using a hand sander along with 180 and 500 grit papers. Skipping grits is helpful here because it keeps the grain visible but also smooth. Go only one direction if you can as it will help keep it consistent. I then coated the brushed side with low tack painters tape. This is because we're going to be both bending and plasti dipping the part. A vise really helps for bending pieces like this, but some straight pieces of wood clamped to a solid table actually works very well. I use that method for pieces that are too long to do in the vise. Alternatively, do what I should have done and get a metal press break. Now be careful not to overdo the bends. Aluminium doesn't bend so smoothly and will succumb to stress fractures if you work it back and forth. I'm bending along the lines cut on the machine to help this. Think of bending a scored sheet of paper. Edges bent, time to plasti dip the back. This makes this side non-conductive for a bit of added safety to prevent shorting, given that this is a metal part. So here we are with the finished armour. As you can see I've plasti dipped this side and it's nice and polished on this side. We're going to be installing it using these, 10mm standoffs. You literally just use these instead of the motherboard screws and then screw this on top using the standard screws on top of that. Easy. Hope you all liked it folks, be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, see you next time.